Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another James E. Tech YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be going over if the CCNA is an exam that is worth taking. So if you're interested in that, make sure to watch this video. And if you do enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. 95% um, of you guys are not subscribed, so that would help out a lot. And join the Discord if you guys are interested in joining the community of people who are trying to get certified, get into IT, so you can be around uh, like-minded people like yourself. So feel free to do that. And let's get right into it. So the CCNA, I would say, is an intermediate level networking uh, certification. It, people sometimes will say it's entry level, but I sort of disagree with that. Someone with no experience would kind of have trouble with the CCNA with no prior knowledge. Uh, many job openings do include the CCNA in it, so it's a pretty relevant certification and employers do look for it. Um, it does teach you networking, but it also teaches you how to apply your networking knowledge. So not just learning the theoretical concepts, but actually practically applying it configuring routers, switches, uh, computer IP addresses, services, things like that to actually configure a network in a real environment. So that is something the CCNA exam will do. It's around $300 to take the full exam. It is two hours long, 100 questions, and it will have one to two lab questions, which is pretty much a, a hands-on configuration. So what it'll do is it'll give you a scenario and a network, and it'll say, hey, this is either not working or this needs done on the network. Uh, do it pretty much pretty much is going to ask you to do certain things you got to type in the commands and you got to test that it works so it's a real practical uh test at least those lab questions are and then there's a hundred multiple choice questions uh, multiple answer drag and drop whatever it is there's about a hundred or less questions for that usually more lab questions you get the less multiple choice questions you'll get i personally took the ccna about a year ago in may of 2023 through my high school if you're not someone who's interested in networking but you're like People ask for the CCNA a lot. If you're thinking about getting into networking, it might be for you, but if you're not really sure if you wanna get into networking, take the CompTIA Network Plus. The CompTIA Network Plus is essentially like 50% of the CCNA. The uh, CCNA covers, uh, in my opinion, a broader range of topics, and it's also Cisco proprietary, while the Network Plus is vendor neutral. So those are some downsides to taking the CCNA. If you're someone who just wants to get a help desk job and wants to do it fast, the Network Plus is probably the option for you because studying for the CCNA exam will take a lot of time if you're actually gonna retain and use the knowledge. Another thing that I'll recommend that didn't really exist over a year ago is um, you could also take the CCST, the Cisco Certified Support Technician exams if you're thinking about getting into the CCNA but you're not too sure yet because those exams are a lot cheaper and they're also still recognized by employers but they're more entry level so you have the ccst it support or networking those two i would recommend if you're thinking about getting into the ccna itself um, the networking one is one i've taken ccst networking i've taken that exam and it definitely can get you ready for the ccna it's pretty basic and it is a good foundation another thing i would like to say is a lot of the entry level it support positions will not you will not need a lot of the knowledge you you uh, get in the ccna so for example, you're probably not gonna be configuring a switch and router on a help desk job, you know? So those types of things are something you should take into account. If you're trying to become a network engineer, absolutely. But if you're someone trying to get into IT just by itself and you don't have a lot of time and you wanna get certified quick, this is probably not the certification for you, at least right now. One thing I'd like to say is the network engineering field is slowly decreasing, not at a hazardous rate. There's always gonna be network engineers no matter what happens because someone has to set it up. But the job of network engineers has started to decrease a little bit because things like Cisco Meraki coming out, there's routers that pretty much have a graphical user interface now, and it's a lot easier to uh, configure. There's a software-defined networking, which means you don't type every single command anymore. It's all automated by scripts, things like that. So some networking knowledge from the CCNA, I would say is a slightly outdated. But if you're going into network engineering, it's definitely worth uh, knowing how to line by line configure a router to see how it works to actually do it so i could see this uh, certification being very useful for people getting into networking so now here's a few reasons why you should take the exam i've already went over a couple of these but i will rephrase some of these um if you're an aspiring network engineer absolutely um take this exam uh, I think around 40 to 50% of companies use Cisco. So a lot of Cisco products are around. And if you don't do Cisco, like let's say you work at a place that uses Juniper, a lot of the configuration knowledge can be transferred to other companies. It's obviously not going to be the same, but a lot of the commands are just slightly different. 
And you just got to learn that. It's just the syntax you got to learn, not the actual knowledge that you already have. Another thing is knowing how to configure networks and having those projects under your belt can really um, impress employers when you're applying for jobs. Even if it's a health help desk job, having that type of practical knowledge, configuring networking equipment is very attractive to em employers. So a lot of people definitely like that you're committed to learning networking. Um, if you're committed to studying for a long time or have a lot of time to study, CCNA might be a good option for you because this, like I said, this exam will take a lot of time. A lot of people have to make it their life to study for the exam because they don't have as much time to do it. The CCNA has also been around for a very long time. So it's been recognized by so many employers over the years. So if you say you have your CCNA, a lot of the times employers will know exactly what you're talking about. It's definitely a certification that's looked up looked up to a lot but it, there's a lot of people who have uh, some criticisms of the certification myself included but the ccna itself is a pretty good well-rounded certification if you are interested in studying for the ccna you're not too sure yet there's something i'm going to recommend to you so this is something that i actually use when i was studying for the ccna it's a boson xm is what i'm going to recommend if you're studying for the ccna currently and you're gearing up to take the exam their xm max practice exams are exactly like the ccna except it's a slightly a little harder than the CCNA. So it gets you ready for the CCNA and then some. Along with that, it also has some of the labs that the CCNA exam will have. So for example, configuring actual equipment, it will give you one of those scenarios and you have to do it yourself and tell you if you're right or wrong and tell you why you're wrong and why you're right. So when I was taking the exam, XM Max helped me pass for 100%. It definitely helped out so much. If you're someone who doesn't have a study method yet, I would recommend their courseware uh, package that's actually teaches you everything you need to know for the ccna it also gives you some labs for uh for studying for the exam so it's definitely really useful so if you're considering using a uh, boson uh the link is in the description down below and if you use my code jamesy tech you'll get 15 percent off of your purchase so yeah that is all i have for the video thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Bye bye